As we take a look at SD-WAN implementation, we want to specifically examine the recommended Cisco-based solution. At the time of this recording, that is Cisco's SD-WAN based on Viptela. Cisco acquired the Viptela company in 2017, which provides a cloud-based SD-WAN solution. This is recommended to be used in conjunction with Cisco's DNA Center, and that will allow you to leverage automation and virtualization capabilities. Within Cisco SD-WAN, we can break this down into four planes, the data plane, the control plane, and the management plane, which you're probably familiar with from traditional networking models, and the fourth plane, known as the orchestration plane. This is essentially shared with the management plane. There are four different solutions within Cisco's SD-WAN created to manage each of these four different planes. The first is Cisco vManage, which is very simply the GUI interface for managing the Cisco SD-WAN solution. This is where you would perform configuration, monitoring, and provisioning. Then there's Cisco's vBond, which controls the orchestration plane. It's the job of vBond to understand how the network is constructed and to make sure all of the interconnected components can work together. One of the big capabilities here is something called zero touch provisioning. This means that when an SD-WAN capable router is introduced into the network, Cisco's vBond can remotely provision the router from anywhere without the need for an administrator to take any action at all. So that's super helpful for us as administrators. Next we have Cisco's vSmart, which resides within the control plane. This is thought of as the brain of the SD-WAN solution. As we create policies in vManage, as an administrator creates those policies, the vSmart component is responsible for the enforcement of the policies. Those policies are also shared with other SD-WAN routers and locations in our network. Route information from branch locations are received via the Overlay Management Protocol, or OMP. vSmart can use the known policies against these routes to control the traffic flow through the SD-WAN fabric. And finally, in the data plane, we have the actual WAN edge routers themselves, which are responsible for establishing the network and for forwarding traffic. These devices can be either physical or virtual, or we can have a combination of those. These SD-WAN capable edge routers are referred to as Cisco V-Edge routers. Let's take a look at a very common way that we might see this implemented. Here we see a sample topology within which we have a main campus location, a couple of branch locations, a physical data center, and a cloud data center. All of these are interconnected through various means. We see MPLS, we see LTE, and we see satellite connections creating this network of sites. Again, remember that SD-WAN is an overlay technology, and that provides transport independence. So in other words, it doesn't matter what the physical underlying network infrastructure is. As we see here, SD-WAN can work with any and all of that. At each of these locations, we would have a WAN edge router, a Cisco V-Edge device, and these routers form IPsec tunnels with each other in order to create the SD-WAN overlay network. This is gonna make up the data plane that we discussed a bit earlier. Also recall that all of the control elements we discussed earlier, Cisco's vManage, vBond, and vSmart. Secure control channels would be established between each of these elements and each one of the WAN edge routers, and that would be used for provisioning and for configuration of the devices. As for the edge routers themselves, these can be either a hardware or software platform. Hardware platforms include Cisco vEdge routers running on the Viptela operating system and certain integrated service router and aggregation service router models. Virtual platforms include the vEdge cloud router running Viptela OS and cloud services router models running iOS XE SD-WAN software. So that's a look at Cisco's SD-WAN based on Viptela and how we would commonly see that implemented in an enterprise network.